There is a characteristic lack of interest in the environment, withdrawal from contact with others, and with it goes an increasing loss of emotional response. These people become vague and empty. Their manner is childish and they are gawky. They show little or no initiative and spontaneity. If they do react emotionally, their reaction is often inappropriate. They have, of course, no real plans for the future. In spite of this general impoverishment of their personality, many of their intellectual functions remain intact. Memory and orientation are not impaired. The patient we are going to see is about 40. She has been sick for more than 10 years, lives quietly in the hospital, doing simple work in the laundry. She seldom speaks unless spoken to, and does not mix with the other patients. But she is really quite contented, and her lack of energy and animation is not due to depression and despondency, but to apathy. She might, during the interview, demonstrate inappropriate emotional reaction, particularly smiling or laughing when discussing serious subjects. She complains of auditory hallucinations, voices, and strange feelings of being controlled by unseen forces, though these are not especially common symptoms in the simple type of schizophrenia. And how long have you been here? I, I think uh, it might be 14 months in uh, uh, December, beginning of December. In this place? Yeah. You like it here? Yes, I like it when it's quiet. You like it when it's quiet? I find it too noisy, all those patients. Sometimes it's noisy here because of the other patients. Mm, probably. Why do you like it better when it's quiet? Have you always liked it quiet or...? I've been used to uh, living where it's quiet. Except for the railway. You told me once that you didn't like the radio yes. in the hospital. I was unhappy when they brought the radio. Why? I think the ward was quieter without it. Well, if you're very quiet, what are you doing? Are you reading or are you thinking? I'm not reading either. You don't like reading? What are you doing? Listening to music and not talking. You like that? Music is the best, I think. Vera, you told me another time that sometimes you hear voices talking to you, can't see the people. Does that happen often? Yes, I think it's all day. All day? I, I, yes, I, I don't think I have, my head's ever been free of anybody talking. Can you hear them now? Since I was a young girl. Can you hear them now? Well, it's quiet now. Well, we'll be quiet. Then I can talk, huh? And I can talk without them. You can talk without whom? They take away my talking. The voices? Yes. How do they do it? I don't know. Can you tell me what they're saying? I don't pay any attention to what they say. But you understand them. Why did you come here, Vera? Must have been sick. Hmm? Are you still sick? No, I'm much better now. But you like staying here. Have you seen your family lately? No, I haven't. Well, aren't you feeling lonesome? Yes, I was wishing I had a visitor. They haven't seen you for a long time? No. Have you written them? No, I haven't. I don't like writing letters. Did they write you? No, I haven't received any letters either. I don't know. Think you might have a visit soon? Possibly if I'm good.
You know what day it is today? Thursday. You know what time it is about? No, I have to tell. That's quite right. Ten minutes past twelve. Did you see the paper today? No, I haven't. Why not? Don't like reading? I like magazines. You know, I hate magazines. Okay, my head up there. Hmm? In my head up there. What my head? head goes up there and I'm quiet. Where's it going? Where I talk. Where's your head going? What would you like to do now, Vera? I was playing the piano. I, I was enjoying playing the piano for a few minutes. And afterwards, what are you going to do next year? Next year. Well, let's suppose, um, just for a minute, that you were to have a hundred thousand dollars. Yes. What would you do with it? The hospital needed it. The hospital needed it? Mm-hmm. You mean you would give it to the hospital? Probably. And what would you do? I need to keep me here. Huh? <laughs> I need you to keep you here. Yeah. Because you like it here. How do you feel? I'm feeling better, thank you. Feeling better? Are you sleeping well? Yes, I'm sleeping better now. How's your appetite? You must be feeling very lonesome, being alone so long. Are you? Yes, I was lonely, yes. Hmm. Why are you smiling? Have you any friends here? Yes, I have friends here. Are you seeing them every day? Yes, I think so. And what do you do? Do you talk to them? When, when I'm out here. Yes. You're always allowed to, you know. Oh, yes. And what would you like to do now? Probably it's time to go back for, the, for lunch, huh? You just had your lunch, huh? How yes. long ago? Half an hour. Half an hour. Are you hungry again? No. Well, let's... Go oh, anyway, perhaps we get a cup of coffee. Yes. All right. You have seen in this patient apathy, indifference, inappropriate emotional reaction. She was smiling when asked about loneliness, general gracelessness of posture. Total lack of ambition and initiative, with no real plans for the future. Hallucinations. But her memory and orientation are intact, and she was quite coherent. A characteristic picture of chronic simple schizophrenia.